everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. I'm attacking two cans, and we are in the Great Bay Temple. Last episode, we fought the mini boss and got the eyed arrows. Eyed arrows? Ice arrows. I want some eyed arrows. Anyways, in this room, we can do some stocking. Oh, green shoe! Tan shoe, if you're tan, I don't know. But now that we have the ice arrows, we're able to access a lot more areas of the areas of the temple that we weren't able to beforehand so let's get our ice arrows out not our eye arrows what was i thinking wait we don't have to use them here we have to use them down here i like how link dives he's so graceful dude you octocock you octocock what do you think you're doing don't hit me with your with your your puke ball uh, what are what do octocock oct octococks what do octorocks even shoot i guess rocks but they're not even rock colored but anyways with our ice arrows we can shoot these octococks and get on top of them. Because now they're giant ice blocks. And ice block the cock. <laughs> you stupid. Oh, you gosh, you bitch. Okay, take two. Now you freaking octa. Whatever you are. Just don't hit me with your rock barf. Anyways, don't get on top of the blah, blah, blah link. Why am I calling it a blah, blah, blah? Seriously? It's not even funny, Tyler. Calling it a blah 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 is not funny at all, and I'm not gonna call it a blah 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 anymore because it's stupid. But spinning the. I don't, I don't even know what to call it, so I wanna call it a blah blah blah. I guess it's a switch. It's not a switch. I don't know. Anyways, let's go down and, and leave this area with our Zora mask on. There's. What is that big red thing in the center? He, who even knows? Okay, so let's exit this area and get sucked in. What is it? I was gonna chop up. What did I even go through, and how was it not chopped into pieces? Anyways, now that we have the ice arrows, we need to go back into that thing that I just missed. Let's follow the red pipe. Follow the yellow red pipe road. And go in here. And now that we have the ice arrows, we can enter the other room in here that we couldn't before. And get away, you freaking skullfish. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not your friends. You don't have friends. Because you're skullfish. Like Skull Kid. He doesn't have friends either. Anyway, so let's hook shot. I didn't mean to pull out my ice arrows. It hook shot onto the chest. Ooh, a mist. Come on. Yeehaw! Dude, these chests might must be expensive. They're like gold trimmed. Now that we have our ice arrows, you can actually shoot the water too, and it forms little ice platforms in the water. So that's pretty nifty. Don't over jump it. Okay, so let's just navigate these platforms very slowly. Very slowly. Don't fall, Link. Okay. And those things melt behind you if you don't go fast enough. And it's another white shoe? Oh, no, chew! I, I, you were supposed to get hit by the arrow! You chew! You chew chew! Come on, take this, you bitch! Ha ha ha! Now you're a big ice block. You're an ice cock. Sort of like an octocock, but worse. Okay, so let's climb up and spin the blah blah blah. Stop calling it that, Tyler. Kill the bomb chew. The rom chew. The. It's not a. I don't know. Okay. Dude, why did my controller just vibrate? That was weird. I know the choo choo melted. And now that makes this pipe run. I'm not exactly sure what this red pipe does. All I know is that you have to spin it. Actually, I think I do know what it does. But I don't. I don't know. So let's put our Zora mask back on. And dive. Let's do a swan dive. Kill the skullfish. You have no friends, skullfish. Die. No, get out of here. No one likes you. Okay, swim through the hand jobs and die. And, okay. Let's go. Ow! Ow, Link! Ow, stop hitting the- Ouch! Ow, Link, stop hitting your head! I'm, ouch! Why are you being so stupid? Ow! Stop hitting your head, Link! That really hurt- Ow! Stop doing that- Ouch! Don't run into walls! I'm so stupid sometimes, I swear. But anyways, now that we have the ice arrows, we can now go into that platform back there. Let's check, um, are there anything in these jars? Jaws, please have... Jaws, you had no arrows for me, you stupid whores. You stupid whore. This is the worst English boy accent ever. Anyways, now that we have our ice arrows, we can go ahead and get back here. Which we couldn't beforehand because we were ice arrowless. So let's get back here. And right when you th thought there was no more fire arrow usage, you have to use it back here. So let's... How does there even icicles back here? This isn't the ice cavern. 
Okay. Pick up some more magic. Got the magic. And open the door. And there's another Floggy. Hey, Floggy. Oh. It's another evil Floggy. And he's covered in jelly. Okay, let's kill this guy. Ryan, I think there's some supplies back in these boxes. Let's find some more arrows and magic. There we go. Now let's chase this mo fucking frog down. You know what I mean. Okay, and die. And it gets angry and jumps into the big urine puddle in the sky. Okay, so let's get our ice arrows out and shoot the urine. I don't even know what that is. What would you even call that blobbiness? Anyways, he falls down and we have to chase him and hit his ass. So come here, you frog ass. Frog. My voice sounds really deep in this episode. I don't even know why. It just sounds deeper than usual. Okay, so now let's shoot him before. Oh crap, oh shit! Ouch! You frog! What? And if he, and if he like falls on you, he'll do all this like karate shit on you, or jujitsu, or taekwondo, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. It takes away two hearts to it. It's pretty good damage. So let's find him and shoot his ass! Okay. Get down here. Um, let's put our bunny hood on so we can chase him faster. Go, bunny link. Go, 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 and dodge the big urine balls. Seriously, what is that? Is it jelly? Grape jelly? Oh, he died already? Wow, that was fast. Oh, now it's a cute foggy. Aw. Now, there's no treasure in this room necessarily, but it opens up the door, and our prize is waiting in this next room. So let's go ahead and get it. It's right over here. It's in gold wall, and we found the... What do you think it is? We've only found two of these chests so far in the game. If I wouldn't stop missing... Jeez. Oh, there's golden light. It must be good. If it's surrounded by light, it must be amazing. And we got the bitch! I mean the boss key! And it's pretty expensive. It has a ruby in it. It's made of pure gold. Yeah. It's pretty boss. Okay, so now that we have this, we can now... I kind of forgot what to do. I know where to go next, actually. We need to go back to the main room, so let's jump back into this Wawa. This Wawa! And woohoo! Okay. The water's spinning. And oh no, we have a timer because we don't have our Zora mask on. Whatever shall we do? Okay, Link. Good. Just get to the top already. Jeez, thank you. Okay, now let's get out of this washing machine. And I, I call it a washing machine because somebody in the comments said that this room reminds them of reminds them of a giant washing machine since it's all spinny and watery and that's how washing machines are I don't know nothing I ever say makes sense and now let's go ahead and shoot this waterfall with water and we can actually freeze it and climb this ladder 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 now we're gonna go and climb the ladder ladder boots is super cool extraordinary need your help grab your backpack let's go jump in vominos we can... That's a huge icicle thing. Go! Go! Okay, in this room, why was I singing Dora? Anyways, let's kill this Tektite. Tektite, bite my sword. And they gave us five rupees. We're rich. Okay, so now let's make some more ice platforms for us to walk on. And let's not fall in the water because there's some skull fish. Sort of like skull candy iPhones, but not really the same thing at all. Okay. Let's be careful. If you do fall off these, you can always get back on it before it melts. But I don't want to do that. Let's spin this blah blah blah. Stop calling it that, you homo. Why did I call myself a homo? Why did I just diss myself? That sh that was just rude. I'm not a homo. I'm a homo sapien, which that's a human, right? I think that's a human. One time my social study teacher, he was like, all right, all you homos. I meant homo sapiens. You're all humans, or something like that. I don't know, my, my social study teacher was crazy. He was a crazy man. Okay, so over here, um, there's actually a fairy in this room, but we can't get up. It's actually like in the, oh, okay. Take our bunny hood off so we don't over jump these. Um, there's a fairy shard thing in here, but you have to come over here with your ice arrows. And we have to pull out our hook shot. Let's get our hook shot out. And hook shot our way to the ceiling. Woohoo! And there's a treasure chest up here. So let's open it. My controller's rumbling like crazy. My 
Okay. Now what am I supposed to do? Why is there a red rupee on the ceiling? Red rupee, why do you defy gravity? Okay, oh crap. The skullfish are going to eat me! The skullfish! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Skullfish, don't eat me, please! No! No! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Okay, I'm safe. Okay, write a comment. And somebody said if you kill, like, the daddy fish or whatever, um, all the other babies will die. So let's try that out real fast and see if it works. Eat my hook shot, you bonefish. You skullfish. Okay. Oh, I guess it is true. It looks like all the babies are dead. That's cool. It's really cool. Okay. So now let's go back to the first room of the temple. Well, the second room, technically. The room after the turtle room. And now that... Ugh, shit. Alright, I'm very sorry for falling, guys. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Please forgive me. Okay, you... I'm forgiven. Okay, now that we have the red pipe turned on, um, it allows this water spout over here for to allow us to walk over. And I know, we did this whole entire first half of the temple just to unlock that water spout. That's awesome. Okay, so now we have to land on it. And now that we have this water spout on, we can go over to the switch. And I guess turning that red pipe on also allows the switch to be turned on. So yeah, okay. So let's spin... That's a cool water platform, if I do say so myself. Now let's spin this blah, blah, blah. And grab onto this side, because it's the cool side. If you grab onto the other side, you're not very cool. So just remember that. If you're ever playing this game, you grab the left side, you're a tool. You grab the right side, you're cool. Yeah. And that will turn on that water jet. Okay, so now, um, my voice just cracked. Why is my voice sounding so raspy this episode? Now that the, um, the water wheel is at a standstill, we have to go and turn this yellow switch off. Now, I accidentally turned this off when I first entered the temple, which I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But I did. But now we have to turn it back off so the water wheel can spin in the opposite direction. And now that we have the water wheel spinning in the opposite direction, we are able to um, make the whole entire water system and the second washing machine room go the opposite direction. So that's really freaking cool if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself because I am myself. And sometimes I just say stuff and it doesn't make sense. So um, let's go ahead and go up to the main room real fast and see the water wheel spinning. Okay, waiting for our platform. Come on, platform, get down here. Get down here, platform! What are you? Oh, there it is. It's underwater. Okay. Okay, so in the next episode, I guess this is good, a good halfway point for the temple. Just to reverse the water direction. So in the next episode on Let's Play Majora's Mask, we will go into the second half of the temple. And I'm pretty sure, actually I'm almost positive, that we'll have a guest commentator. And that will be Donna Bells. The most freaking awesome Let's Player in the world. If you're not subscribed to her, go subscribe. She's awesome. I did co-commentary with her on one of her videos. So go check that out. And I will see you guys next episode. So adios, amigos. This is Amigosets.